Are we live? Sounds it. Yeah. Cool. Give me one second. I'm just going to do something real quick. Right. There we go. Are we live? Yeah. Okay. Why is this doing this? Hey, what is going on guys and welcome to the fourth episode of The Wolf Among Us. It's really warm here. So yeah, don't don't blame me. Just checking something, running through all my settings. Okay, it all looks okay. Gameplay. Audio video. Turn them on. Oh, apply. Did I actually save that? I need to know. Yeah, I did. Awesome. Right. Let's play! Episode 4, In the Sheep's Clothing. Let's start her up. This is not good. I'm already dropping frames. If you can't afford to look human, you're going to the farm. It's as simple as that. Do you have any idea how much it costs to have an entire family in glamour? I can't finish the mirror. It's missing a piece. Crane must have taken a shard with him. The open arms. Enjoy your stay. Thanks, Bigby. And thanks for covering for me last time, too. Bigby? How could you do this to me? I guess I finally see you for who you are! Tell me who did it! Just tell me who did it! I know you know! I don't think he did it. What? Look at him. Do you really think this man murdered these women? We found out who did it. <laughs> it was a good show. But... It was her. You know, just... Take him, okay? Take Crane. Well, this is gonna be a beautiful relationship we have with you guys. Really, I mean it. Out with the old, in with the new. Long live the queen. Point bullets are a nasty business. The silver slug deformed and shredded on impact. He'll be okay, though. Hmm? He'll be okay? His internal organs are positively riddled. If I don't extract every single scrap of silver, he's liable to suffer some long-term toxicosis. Easy there. Try not to move. Can't keep meeting this way, old boy. Not old. I figured I'd be done before you were conscious. Swinehart, how bad is it? Well, not the worst I've seen, but damn near it. I must say, you're testing even my skills here. Please, Big B, don't move it. Doctor. Look, I'm a bit engaged saving his life at the moment. 
But if the fractured extremity concerns him that much, he can set it himself. What's that, Nat? Painful. Oh, I don't like this. Hmm, not bad. That'll do, I suppose. He's lucky to be alive, and he won't be next time if he keeps going like this. He didn't listen to me before. Maybe he'll listen to you. I don't know about that. Well, he should. You know, I can't hear you. <laughs> Quiet. Just relax. <laughs> Excuse me, Miss White, but... Perhaps it'd be better if you gave me a few minutes to finish with it. Just looking. I, I think I should stay. At least until he's... out of the woods. Believe me, Bigby couldn't be in better hands. And I need the space to work, so... Stick around, all right? I don't know if I trust this guy. Oh, please. I could do this with my optic nerves. Well, I don't like the sound of that. We'll be done in a moment. Just please, give us the time. Hey, Doc, how much longer? Colin, leave him be. It's finished when it's finished. Because I once watched a vet sew a turtle together in ten minutes flat. Colin, you're not even supposed to be here right now. Oh, really? Where am I supposed to be? I'm here to take care of my friend. Could you please not distract the doctor while he has my chest cut open? Yes, that would be helpful. <sighs> there. All done. Great. This isn't a habit you should keep to. Having visits with me. And, well, this time. This time was no joke. Eat as many metal shellings as you see fit, but take just one more silver round near your heart, and the only place I'll be visiting you is the morgue. Miss White. He'll be fine for light duty, if he can figure out what that means. He knows what it means. It's just been an unusual couple of days. I know, but please, don't give him the excuse. There's no excuse! His body will eventually give out. Take care of him, please. I will. He'll need rest, I assume? Sleep, mostly. Just keep watch. Snow has enough to deal with, Swinehart. I can take care of myself. Clearly. Anyways, guard against, as they say. Miss White? Sheriff, Colin, Swiney. Go straight for the alcohol. So, how do you, um, feel? Just sore. It's Big B Snow. He'll be okay. Hell, I've seen him take worse. Not as good as can be expected, I think. So, not well then. I'm glad you're not dead. Thanks. You, uh, you stopped breathing, you know, when you passed out or, or died, I guess. Watch me arm. It, um, it kind of scared the hell out of me. I've never seen you like that. And when Swinehart arrived, you know him, he's never worried. And even he thought you were... You were really worried about me? Yeah, you were really fucked up, man. You look like when you take an action figure and bend its limbs the wrong way. Colin. I'm just saying I was worried about him is all. The guy hasn't had a night's rest in days. Well, I'll get some rest when this whole thing is done. What whole thing? What's even happening out there? I mean, do you guys have like a plan or something? 
And who should I be asking? Should I be worried about the crooked man taking over? Snow's the boss. She'll know what's best for the community. Thanks. The crooked man came out of the shadows for a reason. For him to attack us so blatantly like that. He either feels invincible or desperate. Well, if those are my two options, I don't think I'd pick desperate. What do you mean? You traded Crane to save Bigby. I'm just saying, that's not exactly something you do when you're playing with house money. So he called my bluff. It's not like I'm gonna let Bloody Mary just murder. Yeah, uh, thanks, Snow, for all that back there. No problem. Thanks? You're not pissed that Crane's flown the coop? Or that the crooked man thinks he's got Snow under his thumb? What else could Snow do? If she didn't hand him over, my ass would be down the witching well. Crane still would have been taken. Okay, okay, I'll take your word for it. All I care about right now is... Just what does the crooked man want out of this? I thought he was just a loan shark. But clearly, he's operating in other circles. It can't just be about Crane, right? Getting him out of town? Is this all about the murders? Crane can't be useful to him anymore. So what could this have to do with Faith and Lily? Crane was a puppet, and the Crooked Man worked the strings. This is all about control of Fabled Town. But then what do prostitutes have to do with it? Lily? And Faith? I don't know how it all works out yet, but I know it does. Yeah, it's a bit weird. The Crooked Man declared war against us last night. At least that's what I thought when it happened. But now I see this war has been going on for years. We just haven't noticed it because our way of doing things is broken. We need to do things the right way. What does that mean, the right way? What do you think I mean? I don't know, but it suspiciously sounds like your way. Look, I know things haven't gone great recently, but we're still doing our best. That's not good enough. So, starting now, we do everything cut and dried, by the book, straight as an arrow. Pure as driven snow. I'm not saying I'm the arbiter of- Sure you're not. Colin. This town has enough monsters. What happened last night, what you turned into, it can't happen again. We need monsters to fight monsters. Colin, if I really believed that we needed him to lose his flippin' mind at a moment's notice... We were under attack, Snow. What did you expect me to do? There are degrees. Degrees? I only ever do what's necessary. Really? Do you believe him? Yeah, I do. Look, Bigby, I care about how this is done just as much as I care about it getting done. So for that, you want to give him a handicap? Like the bad guys will worry if shit gets sloppy. Everybody wants Bigby to smile and shave and take a shower now and then. Relax, Colin. I can speak for myself, okay? He'll get the job done. Just let him do it. I'm going to... I'm going to let you do it, okay? It's just that... Now that I'm Deputy Mayor, I need your respect. And this situation has to end. What situation? All unglamored fables starting today have to go and stay at the front. Oh, give me a fucking break. Are you gonna let her talk to me like that? It's been the rule for a reason, Colin. If Snow says that's the way it's gotta be, that's the way it's gotta be. What? Are you kidding me? If you would simply get a glamour. Get a glamour? With what money? You think I can work? I don't even have thumbs. I thought that was my phone ringing for a minute. Wolf's residence. That's rude. Oh, Buffkin, what is it? Okay, I'll let him know. Thanks. Guess who's waiting in your office right now? Narissa. Narissa? That broad from the pudding and pie? Yes. Apparently, she told Buffkin that she has something she needs to talk to you about. But that she'll only tell you. What do you think that could be? Uh, Bigby's got an admirer. You always do well with the, uh, disenfranchised. I haven't the slightest. Okay. 
I should get back to the business office. I've left Buffkin alone for too long taking calls. And I should probably change out of these clothes. Consider the discussion tabled, but not over. Let me know when you're done with Nerissa. Aye, aye, Captain. <laughs> She's a piece of work. Hey, you're not really gonna send me to the farm, are you? I mean, she seemed real serious about it, but I can still hang out here. I don't know. Snow come around. She's just... You know, the crane thing hit her hard, and she doesn't really know who her friends are. I'd be right the now. exact same. Oh, okay. I get it. Don't worry about it. Thanks, Bigby. That's the farm by the look of it. <laughs> Ooh. That's the way it starts, huh? Episode 4, In Sheep's Clothing. Hi, Sheriff. Hi, Nerissa. What do you reckon she's going to say? Are you okay? You didn't look good last night. I wasn't sure you'd be. Well, let's just say I've been better. <coughs> Huff and puffs. Not many people smoke those. What is it you wanted to talk to me about? I know what you did for me, sending me to the open arms. And I think you want to help me again. There's not a lot that I can talk about. You know that. So that spell crane was trying to break. It's not just while you're at work, huh? What I mean is, I don't want to waste your time, but I don't want you wasting your own time either. Back in the dressing room, at the pudding and pie, I told you what I was looking for, and you found a way to tell me. You sent me to the open arms. Maybe that'll work again? You can try. I just... Go ahead. It... might work. You're here because the crooked man just sent Crane to the bottom of my list of worries. You have something you want to say about that, right? These lips are nope. sealed. If I could answer you just like that, I wouldn't have had to make that appointment with you. No, I guess not. Sometimes, we have to find our way through life on our own, grasping and fumbling That's in the dark. Deep. I... I used to have friends to help me find my way, but now they're gone, and I don't know what to do. I 
I'm sorry, but is this going somewhere? <sighs> I'm sorry. I thought I could do this. I need you to know. I want. Couldn't I just write it down on paper? But. But your lips are sealed. I'm sorry if I'm wasting your time. I thought I knew how to say it. Ribbons. Faith wore one too. Do you like it? Hmm? Do you? How can I? It's a tool to keep you stuck in that life. Subservient. That's why you can't tell me anything. It's the ribbon, isn't it? The ribbon has a spell on it. I think we cracked it. Wolf. That spell Crane talked about. Is there any way to break it? Is there something I can do about it? No! Its lips are sealed! What? You can't! Just stay back! Okay, so it is about the ribbon. You can't do that! Slow down. It's alright. I'm not gonna do anything. Please, don't. <sighs> okay, I get it. So the ribbons... You take them off. Sorry, I wish I could do something. If anyone finds out I came here, that's probably Snow. Listen, Sheriff. Can you keep this conversation between us? I could be in a lot of... trouble. I won't tell anyone, don't worry. Thank you. That's all good. <laughs> Sorry, I just need to talk to the sheriff for a moment. Please excuse us. One minute. I might have a new lead for you, but I don't know how solid it is. Beauty and Beast called the office just now. They said they wanted to talk to you about something. I wonder if they've heard about Crane. Thank you for listening, Sheriff. You should go on to your next business. I don't think you'll be wasting your time. Oh, wait, you don't have to go. She has to, Snow. She needs to leave! That abrupt. was... abrupt. That's one way to send a message. What did she tell you? I didn't mean to rush her out. Did you get anything from her? She told me enough. I think she told both of us with the way she just left. Okay then. Good work. So, about Beauty and Beast. Do you think there's something to it? Is this the right place to look? What could they know about the Crooked Man? Or do you think they just heard about last night? Well, whatever it is... I'm sure they called for a reason. Suppose I better go check it out. Yeah, big wee wolf. Hmm. You know, Beauty came to me a while back. She was looking for financial assistance. I told her there was nothing I could do, and and she said that meant she'd have to go somewhere else. Bigby, you don't think she meant that she was going to go to the Crooked Man, do you? That would explain why they called. We need to solve this before something else happens. Yes, we do. Who knows what? We need to figure it out right away. I have other matters to attend to. It's all going a bit over our head, hasn't it? All going a bit over our head. Once upon a dam. Beauty and Beast Department, noon. And you didn't want to tell me what you. 
you were into it. Good reason. Look what happened. So that's back on me now. I thought we agreed that would settle you. That's one way to knock, I guess. Oh. What do you want? Well, you're just going around knocking on doors? You called, right? Or, uh, was it beauty? Why would I call you? Listen, I've had a shitty night. Don't you think you're the only one? And I really don't want to deal with the runaround. Snow said you called and wanted to talk to me. Well, I didn't call. Must have been beauty. She's been surprising me a lot lately. Can I? So have you, Bigby. Yet, with all the sneaking around and secrets, somehow I'm still the bad guy in this. I've had to hear about it all night long from her. Who is it? Who's there? B? If you don't want to talk, can you just get beauty for me? I don't know. Is it safe to turn my back? It's your pal, Bigby. Hi, Bigby. Please excuse us for just a minute. Can I talk to you in private? Yes, let's. Hmm. I guess I really do have the smallest apartment in the woodlands. I can already tell you're going to make a problem out of this. What's he doing here? We don't need to bring him into this. Beast. I just don't think we can trust him. Not after the way he went behind my back. And then you run and call him again? Well, I trust him. Of course you do. He was keeping secrets for you. Mm. Talk about living in the living past. Thing. Do you want to keep fighting about that? Or do you want to try to sort Don't that? just knock on pottery, man. We handle this on our own. We didn't have to bring it here. We're out of money and answers. That's why I called. We'll finish this later. But we need Doing to Doing three six days. Fine. If you want to talk, we'll talk. Sorry, it's been a long night. Yeah, you know what they say. Centuries of marriage come with centuries of baggage. I gotta say, your place, it looks, uh, expensive. What do you mean by that? Beast! No, really, I wanna know. What are you trying to say, huh? Nothing. It's a nice place you got here. Thanks, but that's really not why I called. Snow told me you went to her for some financial help. Did you end up going to the Crooked Man? I didn't know what else to do, We so... should deal with this on our own. Bigby's just going to complicate I things. I called him here, and I want to see if he can help us out. Why are you being like this? I'm just trying to do what's best for us. I'd like to help you, but I can't do anything if you don't tell me what's going on. I gotta know one thing first. What if we did have something to say about the Crooked Man? What if we talk and you don't get him? And all this comes back on us? We'd be risking a lot. We've seen what happens when you cross the Crooked Man. And I don't know if it's worth it. If you can't give us certain assurances. You think you're the only ones in danger? If you have info on that Crooked Bastard, I need to hear it. Otherwise, I've got better things to do. Good cut back up. No, please don't. Then tell me what the fuck is going on. You're in so much debt? Look around you. This isn't the way people short on cash live. Look, we're used to a certain kind of lifestyle, okay? We couldn't just give that up. We never meant for it to get like this. It's just that we had nowhere else to turn. And we got in over our heads. There's not a lot of work out there. Who would we be if we just lived like... Uh, let me just, uh... A day at the beach? Skiing hey, the slopes? we're not done here. <laughs> I and should... we can't come to the phone right now, so leave a message at the beep and we'll get back to you as soon as... <laughs> <laughs> Humanly possible. Beep! That fucking message. I'm gonna come down there and bash...
bash your heads in with that machine if I have to call again and hear that fucking message one more time. I've been doing this long enough to know that if you had the cash, you'd have paid by now. So consider yourselves out of warnings. It's time to start thinking about how else you can settle this. Because next time, I'm making a house call. Who is that? The crooked man's gonna get his, one way or another. Okay. It's the crooked man. All I care about is, how can I find the crooked man? Who do I talk to? Where do I go? The Lucky Pawn. That's where I borrowed the money. The Crooked Man's behind that place. I'd overheard people talking to Jersey about loans before. So, when I needed money, that's where I went. I didn't know what to do. You could have told me. You had enough on your plate. I'm not gonna say anything. Besides, it didn't seem like such a bad deal when Jersey Devil was explained. The devil. I can see hey man, how it's a mistake, <laughs> but I'm not the only one who goes there, you know. I saw the woodsman's axe there just the other day. It was in a display case. I guess he's hit hard times, too. There's a lot of that going around. Fucking Bloody Mary must go through there. She had Woody's axe last night. Trying to chop my damn head off with it. Maybe if you go there, you can sort some things out. I guess I'll go check out the Lucky Pawn. If I can't track down the Crooked Man there, maybe I can make enough noise that the Crooked Man will come find me. Hold on, Bigby. Don't go there. Sounds like you're just going to get Beauty in trouble. And... You know that butcher shop, the cut above? It's the place on Tubman Street. Same block as the baker and the candlestick maker. Well, I've been delivering packages from there for a while. The thing is, it's for the crooked man. Makes sense. And I don't think it's meat in the packages. You, you gotta understand, I need it work. You have to believe us. You're telling me that with a place like this, you're so hard up that you need to work for the crooked man? The guy you're so afraid of? Bullshit. It's not like he runs the counter and hands me the boxes. I never met the guy. How did you get involved with this? Johan the Butcher. Okay. Called. He had a problem with the refrigeration unit one night. But when I finished, it was your pal Mary who showed up to pay me. She said I was reliable. She liked that. And it's the only thing I've been able to pick up. And it's still not enough. I don't want Beauty to have to work. Especially not where she was. It's Mary you deal with? Bloody Mary is there? No, Johan is the one who hands over the packages, you know, day to day. But I've seen her around there. She uh, gets under my skin, you know? I, I try to avoid her. But I don't need to tell you what she's You're like. You're damn right you don't. I don't need a rundown on her reputation. If Mary works out of there, I need to look into it. I just wanted to provide for beauty. Give her the kind of life she deserves. We shouldn't have to live like this. Scraping to get by. None of us should. We were royalty once. We were accustomed to a certain lifestyle. All we want is to make this place feel a little bit like home. You wouldn't understand, Bigby. I don't need to understand. It's not my fucking job to understand. My job is to keep Fable Town safe. So, where are you going? If this all goes sideways, I'd like to know where it's coming from. I don't know where I'm gonna go. Down to the Lucky Pond. The Lucky Pond. I'm going to the Lucky Pond. Too much going on there to ignore. I'll have a word or two with Jersey. You know, Bigby, once you show your face there, word is going to get out. There may be nothing left to see if you go to the butcher shop after. Well, I guess I'll find out. I maybe probably should have gone to the butcher shop first. Wait, I don't know what you're planning to do when you find the crooked man, but is there any way you could help us out? 
What do you mean? Well, maybe you can make this all just go away. We would really appreciate it. What do you say? Can you help us out? You're asking me to kill him, aren't you? Is that what you think I do? Uh, no, of course not. I don't know how you'd get that idea. We just, we know that the crooked man is dangerous. To all of us. Dad, want me to kill him? I'm gonna do my job. Lucky for you, that might just solve your problems anyway. Oh, thank you, Big B. I'm sure you'll do the right thing. Should I have really gone to the lucky bomb first? I feel like I shouldn't have. I feel like I should have gone to... The, um... Butcher shop first. Dirty. No, it's not. It looks like you slept in it. In a pile of so garbage. This is where Jack works. Yeah, why are you. I've seen you take a torn purse for a tenner. Yeah, but I also got her phone number. I don't want your phone number. Ugh. Really? Whoa. Big B's here. Why are you never glamoured, Toad? Why is it so hard to just follow the rules? Look, I know some fables can switch from man to beast and back again, like changing shirts. But it's not so easy for the rest of us to look human, all right? And anyways, I'm getting the money right now. I'm not taking the coat. But it's magic. So? And it'd be covering a check I already wrote. Okay, well, that sounds like a your problem problem to me. Yeah, it is. And so I came here to sell it off. Hey. Wait a minute, that's Faith's coat. It was Faith's coat. Look, you left it in my place. What do you expect me to do? Yes, I think the off-sighted statue to Finder's Keepers clearly states that it's his now, Bigby. So what's it gonna be? I don't know what to tell you. See if Cindy needs a coat. I don't know. <sighs> this is to pay for those bloody glamours, you know. You and your blinkered rules. If the witches didn't charge so fucking much... The witches set their own prices, Toad, and the prices aren't set because of greed. Making a glamour is hard. The materials Sounds are rare. Sounds right. Spare me the lesson of new do economics. I don't want to hear it. I don't know what you're getting so steamed about. Shouldn't be that big of a shock that I'm not going to take an ass hair coat. No, I guess it shouldn't be, since this old bleeding operation's just a setup for one of his shady fucking loans. Ixnay on the own lays, okay, Og Frey? I mean, what kind of a game are you running here? Told? You turn down people's stuff so you can peddle his shit? It's funny you should mention that, because it's exactly why I'm here. You want a loan? I... I didn't really think you the type. Well, first, uh, tell me, how does it work? You know, um, I'm sorry, Big B, but I really shouldn't be talking about this with you. You know this is a fucking crooked man place, right? Toad? He uses fancy boys like Jack here to squelch the honest businessman, force him to lay on credit into servitude. High interest isn't servitude, and nobody's complained before. Toad, listen. Well, I'll leave you to your business. I'm sure you'll have a lot to talk about. Good luck with that glamour, Toad. Fuck <laughs> off. Toad's grumpy. Leave the coat. How the hell do you expect me to get a glamour, then? It's not like I've got a lot of options, you know. Look, I'll... I'll give you some money, all right? You've got to be kidding me. Do you even know how much a glamour costs? I've... I've never had to buy one. Keep your money, Sheriff. I've no patience for charity. If you're gonna be out like this, can't you at least wear a bigger hat? You know, it's getting old to tell the difference. Between what? Between the business office and fables like a crooked man, who you purportedly seek to protect us from. Either way, I'm getting screwed. Drop by any time. Leave me, Toad. You can always go to the farm. He really grows on you. Look, I told you I work here, and I do, okay? 
so don't look so surprised. And before you ask, I've never seen the Crooked Man in here. Neither hide nor hair and all that. In fact, as far as I can tell, he's never even actually stepped foot in here. But Bloody Mary works for him. And the last time I saw her, she had the woodsman's axe. So? So the last time anybody else saw that axe, it was here. We'd never take something like that. Is this really why you came down here? The woodsman's axe? I'll be asking the questions here, Jack. Okay, fine. Fire away. There's more than just pawning going on here. You got the loans. What else? Maybe it's like a weapons locker, too. Was the axe here? No. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. I think I'd notice a giant mystical axe. And that's saying something. Since, you know, I can sometimes miss the obvious. And if I just happen to find a giant mystical axe? That would be quite the magic trick. Listen, I gotta start closing up shop, so, uh... Close? It's the middle of the day. What can I say? Jersey likes to run it on hours. And really, he'd be the one to talk to, so... Can't you just swing by later? It really wouldn't be good for me if he sees your face when he walks in, so, uh... I wanna check stuff out here first. This is a crooked man place. Maybe something here will help me find him. Can't you Shut just... Shut up, Jack. Yeah. The Jersey Devil isn't here to answer my questions. It also means he isn't here to get in my way. So I'm gonna take a look around. As long as I've got the elbow room. All right. Don't let me get in your way. I won't. Was there fish there? I thought you said you'd never take something like this. Uh, uh, what? I, I, do, I don't, uh... Jack? Uh, yeah? When was Mary here? Was who here? Bloody Mary. Because the axe was here. But it's gone. And she had it. So she was here. I don't know anything about that. I don't. Really. I mean, I don't work every day, so... Uh, and even when I do work, I just try to keep my head down. Just tell me the truth. What happened to the axe? It was Mary. She took it, okay? That's all I know. That's all you know? You don't know she almost fucking killed me with it last night? No. No. I had no goddamn idea. She sometimes comes in to pick up shit. Why'd she take it? Just to fuck with me? You think I'm crazy enough to ask her that? I'm not sticking my foot in that lawnmower, thank you. Well, for your sake, you better think of something to tell me. That's all I can tell you. I'm being straight here. I'm just part-time. I mean, it's Jersey who's the one who's into this stuff. He's one of the crooked man's boys, okay? And it'd be great if he was here to tell you all this, but he's not. So just... Jersey, don't... don't give me that shit. What the fuck is the point of having a system if you're just gonna... my fucking system. But you... you're the guy who makes sure I'm the guy to keep shit in order, and that's it, Woody. Who closed the fucking gate? Jack? If you love your ex so fucking much, why'd you pawn it in the first fucking place, huh? I didn't pawn it, asshole. It was stolen from my apartment. And Grinch said that he saw it here. Now tell me where it is right fucking now. Hiya, fellas. Christ. And this fucking guy, too? Bigby? What is are you... his axe even here? Nope. It isn't. Just like I said, it's not here. Have uh, these people are so annoying. I got shit to do, so whatever you're here for, make it snappy. Uh, he wanted to know where... Actually, you know what? I don't care what he wanted. You work with the Crooked Man. And until I give you permission, you're not gonna do anything but answer my questions. How's your arm? Bloody Mary leaves a bit of a stink, don't she? Jack, 
Did you know that as of this very morning, Bigby's joined the Crooked Man's Obedience School for wayward fucking creatures? He's already passed his first class. Can I punch this guy? See, the sheriff had who he stupidly thought was the murderer. Been chasing him for fucking days, right? But the Crooked Man snapped his bony fingers, and Bigby handed him over just like that. I'm, uh, just gonna, uh, let you two, you know. Tell me everything you know right now about the murders and the crooked man. Jack's just backing out the door. Are you kidding me? It was here. It was right fucking here. What did you do with it? How the fuck do I know? Listen, you bald little dipshit. You're gonna... <clears throat> You piece of shit! Back it up, Jersey. You're dealing with me now. I didn't expect to see you upright. Still looking for whoever killed them hookers? Or are you done chasing your tail? Where's my axe? Who'd you give it to? <laughs> That's it? You talk big. But I don't oh, think shit. The stones to back it up. Still a little sore, are we? Why should Mary get all the fun? You ain't so tough. You know what? I'm just gonna handle you my ah! You fucking mother! My fucking fight. Not now, dog. You got a lot of nerve. Oh. Uh... Raise it on me! I can't really talk in this, like, there's not much to really say. This game is AIDS, deep freezing. and forks of tree roots behind the sun in the <coughs> shadows that's not good enough oh the door to his house it bounces around never in one spot you'll never find it even crane had to use the magic mirror that fucking guy <laughs> oh mirror mirror 
Okay, that's Crane's way. How do you contact him? Oh, I know. He uses couriers for everything. Ravens, oh, goblins, the fucking Tweedles. Whatever. I go in when I'm taken there. You don't know anything about anything, do you? What do you have? No. Where? Had ah, useless bitch Snow White in a broken fucking mirror. Next thing you say better be something useful. It doesn't matter what you fucking do. You're not gonna get him. You wanna knock on his fucking door and There's see There's a lot of language happens? in this. Fine. Crane had the mirror. Bloody Mary had Crane. So take your fucking wrecking crew act to the butcher shop. The cut above. If I can find the mirror piece there, I can find the crooked man. That's her spot. That's where all the magic happens. Now leave me. So I can find some aspirin. Oh, oh. He ain't going anywhere. You better not be fucking with me. Or I'll come back here and finish the job. That was in English. You got what you want. Now get the fuck out of here. Oh well, we got what we wanted. Hey, Sheriff. Those girls are still dead. Oh, and there's nothing you can do to bring them back. And I don't know what they did. But I do know this. Oh! Just shut the fuck up. <laughs> Low smoke. Didn't I just have a cigarette? Thanks. Should have grand. You're welcome. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I was having trouble deciding which one of you to hit with this thing. Jersey was wrong, you know. About what? About those girls. There is something you can do about it. You can get the fucker who did it. Ain't that the plan? Yeah, you're damn right it is. All right, we'll go do it then. Ready, I'm Mr. Woodsman. Oh! Hey, Woody. Yeah? What are you gonna do now? We all got our role to play, Wolf. I'll see ya. Seems fair enough. Like, he legitimately just saved me, but that's okay. Cut above, butcher shop. Not very many drinks in this fridge. It was frozen. Not very appetizing. Not at all. Frozen solid. Who'd want to eat this? I feel like it's just the front.
bet that's what Beast was talking about. Hmm. That logo looks familiar. I've seen this before. That antique green leaves. Stop crooked man. Bigby Wolf? What happened to you? I'm looking for a piece of the magic mirror. Um, wh what? The magic mirror's missing shard. Where is it? Bloody Mary brought it here, didn't she? What? B Bloody Mary? Magic mirror shard? <laughs> what kind of place do you think this is? Don't bullshit me. I'm not. What you're looking for, I... I think you'd be better off looking at uh, the Lucky Pond. Yeah, or someplace like that. You know where it is, right? I'm gonna take a look around. You don't mind. I... Sheriff, I... Did you hear that? I just hit what? the button. Oh, I'm real sorry. Hold on. I, I just gotta go check on that. Don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. Butcher? I just have to go see. You click the button. Told you, click the button. I got it covered back here, Sheriff. I'll be right out. Stop pushing everything. I'm sorry, Sheriff, but you're not supposed to be back here for uh, safety. I'm the purposes. Sheriff. I'll do what I want. Come on, damn it. Can I just use my ultrasonic hearing that I have as a wolf and, like, pinpoint his like a magazine? Oh, you gotta be. Kill me. Oh god, she is gonna fucking kill me. He's gonna get me killed. Huh? How you doing? Please, please, Bigby. Please don't. Bigby? What happened to Sheriff? Please don't kill me, Sheriff. I don't wanna die. Please, please don't kill me. Listen, just calm the fuck down, okay? I just want some answers. Okay. I'm dead. Either way, they said to me, Johan, you could keep your life and lose your shop or lose both. What would you do? It, it was a simple choice to make in the moment. Just open the door, Johan. It won't be your problem anymore. I, I can't. Why not? What's back there? I don't know. I, honest. I, I've never been back there. It's locked from the other side. Look. I, I just worked the front. That's all I'm supposed to do. Well, who locked the fucking door? I, I'm not part of their crew. I, I, I don't know who. I'm very or, suspect of this guy. There. Crew? The crooked man's people. Jersey Devil, D and Dumb, and that mental case, Bloody Mary. Y you want to talk about the real butcher? <laughs> it's her, not me. This is her place. I'm telling you, they muscled in on me. Took over my storage and delivery a long time ago. All cause of that heat wave. That summer was even hotter than this one. Oh, I'd let Mary and those porkers stay cool in the meat locker one day, playing cards, having a great time. I guess they were sizing the place up. Shows what I get for being nice. I'm just a victim in this. I don't know what they do back there. I swear. You lied to me in the front. Why the fuck should I believe you now? Because it's the truth. I knew this would happen. Didn't know when. I'm spamming the A button. So 
like some sort of lab from this screen here that we're looking at. Is this place? I told you, Big P. I don't know. They muscled me out. I swear, I don't know anything more. I haven't been back here when it was like this. Warning lights. This business. It's all I've ever had. Damn it. You can't act like you're forced into this and then turn around and help them. You'd still be here if you hadn't flipped that switch out there. I had to. You come in here making trouble for me. But you only give a shit now because the crooked man stepped on your toes or something. Where were you when they took this place from me? It hasn't been easy for me. You, you think I want to live with this at my back? All right, Johan. Do me a favor. Just shut the fuck up and stay out of the way. Can you manage that? I bet you it's glamours or something. Yep. So this is what Beast was delivering. Glamours, other kinds of magic. Could be dangerous stuff. Maybe just don't touch anything back here, please? Didn't I tell you to sit down and shut up? Chains? Who's getting chained up here? You can't think I'm the only one the crooked man has under his yoke. This what those loans get you? That crooked piece of shit. Ribbons, chains, it's it's all the fucking same. These are raw materials for making magic. Anti-greenleaf and any other rogue witches out there probably get their supplies here. Good luck, Bigby. You thought about something today. That symbol. It's on all the packages. What is it? That's the crooked man's uh, brand. It's on everything that goes in and out of here. So you do know something, huh? Is that a, a wheel or what? I guess they never use that thing on wolves, huh? What's that supposed to mean? It's from back in the homelands. A torture device. It came over here with the rest of our stories. Not that Mondays need any help coming up with that kind of thing. It makes people crooked. Like breaking their bones and do I really need to explain this? Yep. Too bad they had time to erase it all. This could have been useful. They erased the entire thing. making here. I'm just a butcher. You want to talk T-bones? <laughs> that I can do. This stuff is out of my league. There are a lot of nasty spells you can make with the right equipment. What the hell is that? It's a coat. Thought it was a coat. I know this isn't your coat. What's it doing here? It's a coat. What's the big deal about some dirty... Looks like Crane's seen some abuse. I'm sure he handled it just fine. No time for traveler's checks, huh? I'm taking the money. He won't be needing this anymore. He just saw me steal money, haha. <laughs> Get used to it, I'm the sheriff. I do what I want. That 
Sick piece of. Taking that as well. And this one, just for good measures. The shard. It's the shard. Finally. Hey, hold on. Well, I'm real happy you found what you're looking for, Bigby. But what about me? Huh? What the hell am I supposed to do now? I'm gonna have to spend the rest of my short life looking over my shoulder for Bloody Mary. They won't care that I held up my end. If I were you, I'd run. At least we found the mirror shard. That's all that matters. No need to call Snow and be like, yo, we found the mirror shard. Party. I don't care who killed the prostitutes. If Crane was helping himself to the community coffers, it means his hand was in my pocket. Can you just let him go? I don't know what you heard, but it didn't happen like that. Are you denying the facts? Uh, she's denying me the chance to get a word in. Now, Miss White, I... Sheriff Bigby has returned. Ah, there's the old wrecking bowl himself. Bigby, where have you been? I'm not finished here, Miss White. You will have to wait. <sighs> just one moment, please. Look what I found. Seems your dog wants a biscuit. I'm not in the mood. And you've got a lot to answer for. Oh, really? Buffkin, get this piece in the mirror right away. With pleasure, Miss White. <sighs> Finally, things are swinging back in the right direction. Good work, Bigby. You've been gone all day. What did you uncover? I thought you were going to report back to me. I mean, it's fine. Once the mirror's fixed, we can use it to find that crooked bastard. Or at least wherever he hangs his hat. That's how Crane kept tabs on him. And everybody else. I'd say he was abusing the privilege. He was probably spying on all of us. He was probably spying on me. Anyway... No, it's fine. You did excellent work, Woo! Bigby. Sheriff, I could use your assistance. Would you join me at the mirror? It doesn't fit. Don't go far, Sheriff. I'd like to have a few words of my own with you. Unbelievable. Oh, yeah? Take a number. I don't understand. This piece just doesn't want to join the rest. Do you have any idea why? Got me. Well, where did you find it? What has it gone through since being separated from the rest? Shattering is a very traumatic experience, you know. So this process can be a little touchy. I found it at the butcher shop, the cut above. It was in Crane's cone. There was a lot of weird magic going on there. And that has something to do with it. Other than that, the last person I saw with Crane or his coat was that psycho Bloody Mary. Maybe she had some... Ah, yes, Miss White was asking about her. That explains it. You know who and the mirror have a very unhappy history with each other. How would you like it if she tried to use you as a doorway? I think I already know the feeling. Well, I think I know how to proceed now. It will just take a little extra coaxing, that's all. Thank you for your Thanks, Buffkins. It could be a while, Sheriff. I'll find you when it's ready. Besides which, he might not want to come out with you watching. Oh, he doesn't like being spied on. Is it fixed? Did you ask about the Crooked Man? Buffkin's still working on it. He said it might be a while. If you're so self-reliant, what do you want from the business office out back? What I want is my business. I, I can't take those two right Punch now. Punch them both. We're trying to catch a murderer, and they're... They're over there bickering about bureaucracy. Seems about right. We're at war. Don't they realize that? You need some help over there? Yeah, thanks. Go talk to Toad, but... Just so you know, we can't pay him. 
He really needs to go to the farm, you know. So just break the news and be done with it, okay? Now bite on that bloody clamor. I only came in to see about Toad, come here. I thought I made myself I see how it is. Passed off to an underling, eh? Why am I not surprised? Well, you did cause what damage brings me in here, so maybe it's for the best. Just need a little bit of dosh to cover it. I tried talking to her about it, but it's like chatting up a brick wall, it is. Chatting up a brick wall, yeah. Now, I'm sure you've got your own agenda, Sheriff, but I've taken a real wallet because of you. I'm starting to think you don't take me seriously, Toad. How many times have I told you to get glamoured up? You know that if you're out of glamour, I gotta send you to the farm. Well, how about your friend the pig, hmm? Is he going to the farm too? Yeah, you thought we didn't know about him, huh? Colin stays out of sight. For Mondays, at least. Can you say the same? Oh, fine, fine, I get that. But might I propose a very simple solution? If you give me one more chance and hear me out, I'll see a way for me and me boy to no. stay. I'm not gonna ask for any more than I need. I just wanna stay. So what do you say? You just give me enough to cover me glamours and we'll call the rest no. of us. Please, Sheriff. Don't take TJ from the only He's only He's going to the farm, boy. Glamour rule is oppressive. I've done nothing wrong, but look different. Hey, you've been out of glamour from the word go. I have no choice. You and TJ are going to the farm. There's a truck leaving tomorrow. I think you better go break it to your boy. Big B. Look, the damages might be a valid complaint, but that's a separate deal. Waylon Smith can see to that at the farm. You're a real friend of the people, Sheriff. What a crock of shite. The government by the fables for the fables, my ass. <laughs> Bluebeard, you want to talk? Now's your chance. I've just made my donation funding this office, so direct your questions to Miss White. Well, at least he's not trying to get rid of me. He's not? For now. Did you take care of Toad? I mean, I saw the way he left. I know it may not seem that important right now, but glamours are the law for a very good reason. I did it. He'll be gone tomorrow. Him and TJ. It may not have felt good, but it was the it right thing. It felt horrible, you but know I'm evil, so it's I know okay. I should be asking how it got like this, but I just keep wondering why it happened to Faith and Lily. You've seen his world. Do you have any idea why he'd want them dead? I don't know if the crooked man killed them with his own hand or if it was one of his goons. If there's one thing I've figured out, it's that the crooked man is all about control. It's what he does with the loans at the pawn shop, the magic he peddles, chains, ribbons. Maybe Faith and Lily weren't doing what they were told. Or maybe they just tried to leave. Sheriff, Miss White, I believe the mirror is right here. The mirror. I have to say, I have been better. But thanks for putting me back together. I'm sorry, I just, I have to know. Mirror, mirror, we're glad you weren't slain. Now please show us that sick creep crane. He's probably still waking up a little. She moves so robotically just then, her head like, dun dun. You will get on that plane to Paris, and you will wait for the day the crooked man needs you. Until then, not a peep. Otherwise, I get to deal with you my way. So please, please disobey. Wait a minute. Someone's watching. just happened we pointed you in the wrong direction and looked at bloody mary's reflection oh her that explains the sting i'd rather not have to feel the pain she brings okay so let's not do that again okay, okay. mira looks like we'll have to track him down later you're right we need to focus on the immediate threat and that's the crooked yes, man yes just the crooked man big b we don't have a oh, lot I of forgot. time. Are you having trouble with the Ryan yep. Sheriff? Perhaps I can be of assistance? 
Mirror, mirror, keep us sane. Show the door to Crooked Man's domain. I can always count on you, Buffkin. Where is that? I don't recognize the door, but that's the Crooked Man symbol on it. Hold on. The door. It moves. Yeah, Jersey mentioned that. Wait a minute. I know that door. That's Central Park. I don't know when it's gonna move again, but I'm gonna get there before it does. Bigby, wait. When you get the Crooked Man, make sure you bring him back alive. He has to stand trial. We can't just dispense street justice. I know that emotions can run high, and you have your reasons to handle this a certain way. I can't make that promise. This could turn sour, just depending on how the wind blows. I have to be able to handle it how I see fit. If people are going to have faith in the Fable Town government again, we need to be fair. Show them that we're doing things the right I way. So too, yes. I have enough to worry about here while I prepare the case against him. So I'm going to trust you to handle this properly. That is, if you think you're ready. Are you questioning me, Snow White? Another choice. Are you really questioning me? Ha! Huh? Don't want to do that. Don't want to question me. Gothic Bridge, Central Park, 94th Street. Night. Just, time is just night. Walk right in, big boy. I'm trying to peer around the corner, it's not why. Like, I'm trying to move my head in real life. Tim, what the hell are you doing here? Good evening, Sheriff. I'm here to take you to the boss. Thanks, by the way, for leaving off Tiny. I have to admit, when they asked me to watch the door, I wasn't sure what to expect when you came through that portal. Hold on. You've just been waiting for me to show up? You knew I was coming? That's what they told me. I don't know, they said you made it pretty clear. I'm supposed to bring you right on in, so if you'll come this way. Look, this is the one thing I have to do. Fine, lead on. It's Tiny Tim, whoop whoop, Tiny Tim. Thanks for understanding. This is all I'm here to do, and I don't want to mess it up. <laughs> I know I'm probably the last person you'd expect to be a guard, or an escort for that matter. I get it. You have a job to do. But you got to ask yourself if you want to be involved with this guy. Whatever you may think of him, he doesn't treat me like some broken little kid. I think he gets what it's like. He gave me a job. And I'm lucky to have it. This is the only option I've got. I know. Just keep that in mind, maybe? Because if you and the boss go up against each other, the rest of Fable Town is going to get caught in the middle. And if you're here, it can't be good. So I hope you two can come to an understanding. I hope so too. A lot of us depend on him. Some of us never get to the front of the line at the business office. But he's there. We need you. But we need him, too. What we don't need is a war. Hey, Sheriff, hold up. I gotta go in with you. Thanks. <laughs> Buy some kind of a fucking joke, you. What did I tell you, eh? Stop laughing. Go ahead. Oh, yeah. You got a job to do. I am. Sheriff Wolf, sir. 
I've been in a fight with all these people. I just realised that. Thank you, Tim. I know the sheriff isn't the accommodating sort, but you handled it. You did well. You can go now. Thank you, sir. You see, everyone in Fable Town has a role to fill. You just have to pay attention to what they need to help them find it. She said. Why don't you have a seat, Sheriff? We have a great deal to discuss. It's over. You're alive. You're coming with me. Is that, is that how this ends? Like, is that it? No? We're still... It is! I feel like I lit my, my cigarette and everything blew up. I've heard stories about you. In the old days, how you picked off those men one by one. Oh, how they screamed. The wolf is coming. And they would wait. Hiding anywhere they could squeeze their pathetic, shivering corpses. Some would just drop to their knees where they stood, close their eyes, and wait for death. And you'd give it to them. <laughs> I wish I could have seen it. <sighs> oh, well. <coughs> Whoa, okay. Okay. Did you send Colin to the farm? You and 49.7% of players decided Colin shouldn't go. 60% of people just did not try and remove the ribbon. 51.7% of players went to the lucky pawn first. 22% of players sent Toad to the farm. Oh no. I'm in the minority there. Did you respond? How'd you. 18.6% of players said you're bringing him in. I'm in the minority for like the last two. I'm gonna just quickly turn that off in case this music's copywritten as well, but hey. I don't know. I think there's one more episode left after this. Yep, we got one more episode to go. Woo, almost finished it. Oh my god, these credits are so long. Why? Why do credits have to be long? That is it. That's episode four of The Wolf of Among Us done. I'll see you guys in episode five. Um, thanks for coming.
See you then, and peace!